Hey everyone, it's Project SVC, and I'm back today to show off my TDP control program. If you didn't see my last video, I've been working on this TDP control panel program for handheld devices and netbooks like the One Mix 4, the GPD Win 3, the One Netbook One X Player, and the Win Max and Win Max Refresh, not AMD. AMD support is coming soon, though, by the way. So I just wanted to go over um, what's changed and show off some of the new features. First off, let's start with profiles. Um, so I don't have any active profiles right now. I'm going to set one. I'll set it to profile one here. And it's gonna say, hey, you're uh, on the charger. We're gonna go to 15 watts. And you can see everything got updated here. Now, in my previous version, I had implemented the battery versus charger settings. So I'll unplug it and it'll say hey guess what you're on battery we're going to change the TDP down to 10 watts so that is still in effect so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to plug this back in and we should see that the TDP got updated and it did okay so let's move along to change values So here we are on the change value page. Um, similar setup to last time, you can set TDP. You can either use the drop down here, which is touch screen friendly, or if you wanted to, you could type in a value. It just has to be an eighth of a watt increments. And you can go ahead and you can change those and it'll tell you, hey, it got updated and it should remove your active um, profile. So the biggest change in this version is the ability to control profiles. So previously you had four profiles, you couldn't add any, you couldn't delete any, and you are limited to just those. I've added a profile list view here so you can add new profiles, you can delete them. We also notice that there's this EXE name here. So you can actually associate a profile with a specific EXE, like a game, and you can make it run that profile when that app opens. So let me show you real quick. So we have Notepad and we have New Profile 2. So if I go ahead and I open up Notepad, it's going to say, hey, guess what? I got to run this profile, New Profile 2, because Notepad opened. And there is a precedent. Whatever app is running will not cause a new profile to load if you load another app that is also on this list. So you can only have one at a time. Um, let me close that. Let me refresh out that notepad in the system. Let me go and open up one step from Eden. So the exe name is OSFE and when it opens up here in a moment it will cause the profile to change. Come on, there we go. And there it is, profile 3. And we can see that OSFE, profile 3, it loaded. Awesome. Let me go ahead and close that out. So um, that's what you can do with profiles. You can also edit them. So I go and I click the edit button. You can come in here and you can change the values. You can add an EXE, like, uh, let's see, calculator. Even though we already have calculator for one, let me get rid of that. And if I go ahead and I run calculator, it's gonna come up as profile one over here. There it is. Let's move on to the last section here. So here is the settings tab. You've got a few more options in settings here. So the first option we have here is RW delay. So there's a program I use RW.exe to implement the TDP changes. Some devices are sensitive to how quickly you change stuff. And if it is sensitive, you're going to notice the thing crash when it tries to either read or write to the TDP. So if that's the case, then you've got to come in here and you've got to increase this millisecond value. Some devices are up at like 1400 milliseconds, so you're going to notice that delay when you go changing tabs. Other devices are really good and they won't crash, and 200 milliseconds is fine. Notifications, that will turn off the notifications when you go and change TDP. So if I say save all settings, so I said no, and if I come over here and I say let's go 8 watts, it is not going to tell me that the TDP has changed. It's just going to go ahead and it's going to do it. See? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to re-enable that and save. Um, this doesn't work right now. I am working on getting that to work. So another really cool feature is the ability to change TDP 
in game via your controller. So for this, I have my handy little X input controller here, and I am going to open up one step from Eden again, real quick. So it is going to auto apply my TDP profile for that game. But if I go ahead and I hold down the LB and RB and I hold down the down, we're going to see that the TDP got updated based on my down D pad. And if I come over here and I look, it says TDP down 10 watts. I can go and change that for the different uh, directions. So let me go ahead and save all settings and let me try a different one. Let me try up. And it's going to say, hey, you're going to go to 12 watts. So in game, you have the ability now to change TDP by using your controller. And you can see up is 12 watts. I think this is game changer. I think this is going to be awesome. I know the One X player has that turbo button that allows you to change it up to 28 watts. But now you've got a whole bunch of different configurable options. You can set it down to 10 watts, 15 watts, 20 watts, 28 watts, whatever you want. And you can change it in game with your controller. And of course, if you go ahead and you say no to X input changes, it isn't going to change it. But um, So that's it for all the updates. The few things that I have left to work out are open at startup and AMD support. But other than that, this program is coming along real well. I will upload this to my GitHub for it. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So if you want to get this and you want to work with it, you can. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button maybe even subscribe and thanks for watching.